In this lesson, we are going to study alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, and the same side interior angles. These angles are created when two parallel lines or more parallel lines are cut or intersected by a, another line. Let's look at the first diagram that I have here. In this first diagram, there are no corresponding angles. There are alternate interior angles though, and there are same side interior angles. Let's look at the alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are created, and I like to think of them as creating a Z shape. Now it can be a Z going in any direction. This is the normal Z if this line is parallel to this one. Now, I hope you remember that most books will use this little arrow here on the line to show that the lines are parallel. Then these two angles here and here are the ones that are alternate interior. So I'll put a little Z up here to help you remember. Alternate interior angles are congruent. That means their measurements are equal. So in this lesson we've studied this theorem that states that the alternate interior angles are congruent. So they can create what I like to think of as a Z shape. In the first diagram do you see uh, the black two black lines. I'm going to mark those as parallel. All right. If these two lines are parallel, do you see alternate interior angles? Well, I sure hope so. There they are with this orange line. This angle up here at the top will create a Z shape here with this angle. So these are alternate interior angles. They are congruent to each other. So for example, if I tell you that this angle is 40 degrees, then the one up here will also be 40 degrees. Now let's look at the two green lines. Perhaps you can tell they're green. And we're going to mark those two as parallel. Now I did use two little arrows on each of these. This is to show that they are parallel to each other. Do you see the alternate interior angles here? Do you see a Z shape? The Z shape uses those two green lines and again the orange line. There is the Z shape. So here's our angle. This one and this one. These are alternate interior angles and they are congruent to each other. Now let's look at the diagram again, but this time we're going to consider same side interior angles and they will form a shape like that. So you can have this or this. That's the shape you want to look for. Now same side interior angles are not congruent. They are supplementary. Do you remember the word supplementary? I hope so. The word supplementary is that the angles will add to give 180 degrees. So let's see if we can find some in the second diagram. Alright, let's look at the uh, black line and the two black lines that are parallel to each other again. And I'm going to kind of trace over this for you so that you can see these very clearly. I'm going to trace over, um, oops, sorry. black line here. I'm going to go down this way and then over. So these line angles here and the angles here are same side interior angles. Now of course there are three angles there. There's the one at the top, but now the angle at the bottom that's the same side is comprised of two angles, so we would have to add both of those together. And then remember, all of these will make a supplementary statement for geometry. If this angle is 30 and this one is, well not 30, but 130, excuse me, 130, and this one is 20, then 130 plus 20 plus what must equal 180? Well, this is 150, so you can treat it like a little algebra problem. That's 150 plus x equals 180. 
So x would be 30 degrees here. This angle would be 30. Once we know that though, then we have alternate interior angles again, and so this angle is now 30 degrees because we were assuming that the two black lines were parallel to each other. Let's consider this diagram. Do you see the alternate interior angles created by the two parallel lines at the top and the bottom? Or do you see the alternate interior angles created by the two parallel lines that are on the sides? And there's also same side interior angles here. Remember, same side interior angles are supplementary. First thing that I notice is that 30 degree angle here, I can create a Z shape with that other parallel line at the bottom. And that would mean that w, uh, Y and 30 are alternate interior angles and therefore they are congruent. Y is equal to 30 degrees. All right, do you see anything else? Same side interior angles. So that means 2x plus y plus the 75, remember that is all one angle actually there, equals 180 degrees. Now because there are two variables here, I really can't solve this unless I know one of the variables. Well, I just wrote down y, y is 30 degrees, so we'll replace that. So 2x plus 105 degrees is 180. And that is 37 and a half degrees, or 37 and 5 tenths degrees. We have found x and we found y. Now we need to find w. Well, w is created uh, by a parallel line and this line that comes down to another parallel line, we have same side interior angles again. So for that equation, I would write W plus, then these two angles down here, create the one at the bottom, Y plus 75, and these are same side interior angles, so they are equal to 180 degrees. The W plus these at the bottom, add up, to 180 degrees. Now we know y, y was 30 degrees, so again I can put the 30 degrees in for y, 30 plus 75 is 105, so I have w plus 105 equals 180, x was 37.5, y was 30, and w was 75 degrees and we used alternate interior angles and same side interior angles. In the next diagram, we will have some corresponding angles that we did not have to use for this diagram. Let's look at this diagram. As you can see, I have some parallel lines drawn in two different places. Let's look at the blue lines that are parallel and the line that's connecting those is black line going across here. You see the Z shape that we make? So this that means we have alternate interior angles. Angle 60 is an alternate interior angle with this angle. So it also is 60 degrees. All right, let's look now for some corresponding angles. Let's look at this black line here that's parallel to this black line. You see these two parallel lines? Now let's draw a line straight across here. Sorry I'm being a little messy here, but do you see that angle 40? It is a corresponding angle with angle X. X and 40 are corresponding angles, therefore angle X is 40 degrees the two blue lines that are parallel and extend this line going across the top a little farther over. This angle Y is a corresponding angle with M. So Y is equal to M. And X was 40. So what do we have? We have 40 plus the 60 plus the M equals what? Well that's a straight angle right here x plus 60 plus m is a straight angle. So we have that's 180 degrees. So m must be 80 
and therefore y is also 80 degrees. This is Susan Johnsy with MathInABox.com. I hope that helps you see corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and in the other diagram, same side interior angles. Thank you.